Pearl Jam emerged from tragedy, shunned releasing singles, boycotted Ticketmaster, but yet have emerged from it already to rock Hyde Park over two nights. The Seattle grunge megastars will headline the British Summertime BST, festival, emulating the likes of the Rolling Stones, Adele and Eagles, on Friday July 8th and Saturday July 9th taking to the Great Oak stage after big draw support acts like the Pixies and Stereophonics. The band have not always done things the easy way, however. The multi-million selling act sued Ticketmaster over its perceived monopoly over the gig sector in the 1990s and continued to boycott the company even after dropping the lawsuit. They have also traditionally shunned doing interviews and making music videos, even blocking their label from releasing the brooding but catchy track Black as a single off their hit breakthrough album 10. Even the band's formation was soaked in a tragedy that other musicians might not have recovered from. How did Pearl Jam form? Pearl Jam formed from the ashes of another Seattle band called Mother Love Bone. Stone Gossard and Jeff Ament's worlds fell apart when the lead singer of their band was discovered dead after a heroin overdose just weeks before their first album was due out. Andrew Wood was the charismatic frontman of grunge group Mother Love Bone whose meaning-soaked lyrics were gathering attention. But the 24-year-old could not shake his addiction to hardcore drug heroin, even after a stint in rehab and was found dead in 1990 by his girlfriend. The devastating news saw guitarist Gassard move to writing harder edged riffs, giving him the basis of new songs but no one to sing them. A demo tape of five tracks, including Pearl Jam's huge first single, Alive, would land in the hands of Californian vocalist Eddie Vedder, who flew north up to Seattle to audition for the band. He secured the gig after impressing and even earning himself a guest spot on the album by supergroup Temple of the Dog, featuring members of Soundgarden and Mother Love Bone in tribute to the recently deceased Wood. Stone, Gassard and Vedder teamed up with guitarist Mike McCready and drummer Dave Grusin initially under the name Mookie Blaylock, then an active basketball player, before switching to their famed Pearl Jam moniker. In 1991 the band recorded and released their debut album 10, which went on to sell more than 13 million copies in the US alone and landed them a spot in rock music history. Who will support Pearl Jam at Hyde Park? Lucky ticket holders to both nights that Pearl Jam are headlining will have a reason to get to the London Park early, with support acts ranging from household names to young upstarts. On Friday, Pixies will come armed with killer tracks like Monkey Gone to Heaven and Debaser in their slot as main support to Vedder and Co. Before them will be Cat Power, White Reaper, The Murder Capital, The Glorious Sons, Simon Townsend, Law Lose, Sick Joy, October Drift, Fatherson, Life, Dream Nails, and Daytime TV. Saturday's main support will come from Welsh act Stereophonox, with indie rock royalty and songwriter for the Smiths, Johnny Marr, also performing. Before them will see Emel de May, Temples, The Last Hanternacional, La Luz, The Wild Things, JJ Wild, Tiger Cub, Whispering Sons, Petrol Girls, James and the Cold Gun, Peaks and Connor Selby entertaining the 65,000-strong crowd, 